towards we find to what extent we have been successful in extending our uh, uh, helpful hand to others to what extent we have been able to reach out to people and that people connect there does a great thing for the uh, organization to grow in its business function smoothly in that area and uh, then i will be just touching upon the sustainability sustainability i mean apart from uh, doing uh, the uh, things in terms of donation or sometimes doing something good for uh, they are giving one time grant sort of thing if we think in terms of that is what i was highlighting in my inaugural address maybe in terms of uh, this thing what we do is um, we develop lakes and reservoirs those are getting silted and we are just digging up to provide continuous irrigation to the vast tracts of land around while generating uh, um, i mean producing lignite we get a lot of water i am mean, around 10 feet above that uh, lignite seam so what we do is we just pump out the water and irrigate around 6000 acres of land around and uh, we have now uh, the gone ahead thinking in terms of why to pay one time land compensation rather since we are reclaiming the land after use growing vegetables making it cultivable why not to take the land on lease only and during the entire lease period we give enough of amount for a family to have a sustainable income for say entire lease period and after that the land reclaimed fully fit for cultivation goes back to the land owner we are also thinking on those lines so, and uh, again csr when we talk of the society there is one section now at old days we find many people not being taken care of the, by the children they are simply on the streets there are many people they don't have a sustainable income can we create some infrastructure for them and to run the old age homes you call it csr or otherwise doing something good for the society we believe in that and again we people those who are in good companies well paid well off should we not think in terms of doing a bit of our own apart from discharging our role in the as the manager csr general manager csr or director hr or chairman of the company beyond that also we are individuals maybe after this we will be going back to the society how we spending a part of our time forget the money part of our time for doing a good thing for the society maybe on the sera on the occasion of the sera we buy new clothes on the occasion of diwali we buy new clothes gold and everything do we think in terms of helping the people those who work in our gardens the domestic help who have their children going to the schools can we not stop in one year not to buy the clothes why one year every year it can be because all those things are coming to us as if we are having luxury after luxury maybe part of that luxury can we forego and give it to the people surrounding us so that urge should not be coming from the mandate here as i told you other than the mandate there were groups which were doing it absolutely well and now those who are perhaps evading it the mandate is there they will have to do it but again they will have to do it and should have to all the things should get blurred now i feel that is a good thing for me to do and let me do it okay thank you thank you sir for highlighting csr at the rate nlc in the form of project mode and also highlighting the need for an inclusive growth uh, perspective to the csr activities uh, may i now request uh, professor poonam singh to please uh, present a uh, token of uh, gratitude from ipz and <laughs> I also request Ma'am Poonam Singh to please present a small token of uh, gratitude to Harad Sir. Thank you, Ma'am. Uh, I request the participants and the dignitaries on the dais to please join for lunch.